tulikuwa tunajua alikuwa na date DJ Flex walikuwa anampigia simu tulikuwa tunaona anapendana sana so kusikia that he was the culprit ili tushtua pia tulikuwa tunafanya TikToks na yeye sana shangaza zingine challenge zingine ningeweza kufanya na yeye nitafanya na nani all the good times we had during lunch time when we used to eat together in class during lessons making fun of teachers mm -hmm. to joy joy mailu uh, wangesha alikuwa rafiki yangu close tulikuwa tunashinda na yeye tunakula na yeye tukienda hall class time hadi tukionana kwa hallways tunasalimiana mm sa kusikia hiyo story nilishtuka sana hadi sikuwa naamini sikuwa nataka kuamini eh ilinishtua sikuwa amini azin ilikuwa tu kitu shocking sana kwangu So lakini sa we have to accept you know seek to try seek to accept but joshenda we have to accept alikuwa mtumpoa alikuwa jovial sana tunafanya tiktoks pamoja eh yeah, she was really nice eh uh, tulikuwa tunajua alikuwa na date DJ Flex walikuwa anampigia simu tulikuwa tunaona anapendana sana so kusikia that he was the culprit ili tushtua azina si kitu naweza expect mtu mwenye wamependana hivyo for long anaweza kuja kufanya kitu kama hiyo mm. uh, ega walikuwa wameka sana i'm not sure sko sure lakini almost over one year i guess uh. time ya my youth Mm. 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 Eh hiyo siku tulikuwa na yeye hostels nikimwambia bye siko sure kwenye nenda siko nimesikia bado kanaenda kwa chali yake but tulikuwa na yeye nikamwambia bye mm. jina naitwa Ian Ian Jomushiri I was one of Wangeshi's close friends plus besides classmates and she used to sit beside me on my right side So Wanga she was a jovial vibrant young lady she she was all about fun and enjoying the positives about life she should always come to class encourage people when she, when you're down should come cheer you up she would cheer people up either by singing doing tiktok videos coming making fun about people and about things generally if you'd be around her you just enjoy her company and you have lifted spirits so as for today's memorial service so always remember her for all the good times you had during lunch time when you used to eat together in class during lessons making fun of teachers shooting those tiktok videos looking at tiktok trends and also about where she just talk to you about reality and everything yeah because that's what she was all about and she was actually true a true friend to me she was a big sister and somebody i would i would trust and look up to and on the talk about relationships and everything i would say that people are supposed to be honest towards their partners you're supposed to 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 talk about everything you're not supposed to hide anything no matter how dark the thing is communication is key and that's how it'll, it will help make relationships better and reduce domestic violence yeah you come on join a boyfriend yet well passe i haven't met him but once we are used to hear of him he would come and pick wangeshi in school they would go for 
they go out together and on dates and everything yeah okay. yes okay, thank you so much okay i'm sylvia kavisi i'm purity's classmate Ntamkumbuka na vile kwa class kuna tulikuwa tunakaa nyuma kuna base tulikuwa tunakaa na saa zingine tungecheka saa zingine leka kiwa class akifanya kitu fulani tunacheka maybe amekuja hivi tunacheka na pia tulikuwa tunafanya tiktoks na yeye sana shangaza saa zingine challenge zingine ningeweza kufanya na yeye nitafanya na nani Ntamkumbuka sana pia alikuwa nilikuwa namjokia sana nikimwambia aende modeling but sasa kuna sasa nashangaa she had the talent alikuwa na height alikuwa na kila kitu modeli ningehitaji but sasa nashangaa tu it's so sad mm. what a job boyfriend mimi sikuwa na mjua but nilikuwa namsikia eh but nishai muona she kuja ku culture week tulikuwa na culture week so akakuja huku kama dj wa mbuzi gang mm hiyo dendo purity akufe Eh yeah, tulikuwa class hadi afternoon asa afternoon si tuka dispers class zetu za friday wish afternoon so after friday sasa hapo ndo nikapata report saturday ndo amekufa sasa mmm mm. ndio aje familia yake mimi mm. nazaambia tu kitu tunataka ni justice because your death aiko ya aiko tunasema si mpango ya Mungu ni ya mtu kutaka akufe so family yake tu tunaipea tunaiombea na have strength Tuta, tutajaribu kila kitu ndo justice yake ipatikane only want ni justice na najua itapatikana family yake tu have strength mm. kama ma classmates wake mmepanga aje maybe hiyo siku ya barrier okay sisi kama class yetu kuna mchango tumetoa yeye tutenda nayo burial tupatie familia yake at least itaweza si obvious kuna program wamepanga ya mazishi at least ita cover up somewhere pia sisi kuna dressing code tumepanga t-shirt zetu zenye tumenunua ziprintiwe kama picture yake tumresemble hapo kama kla, alikuwa classmate wetu tuweze kumkumbuka tu na tuonyeshe tulikuwa tunampenda okay. hmm. thank you so much na asante sana